Hello everyone, my name is Raina McManus and I am the Chair of the Wellesley Natural Resources Commission. It is my great pleasure to present Article 10 to Special Town Meeting 2020, the naming of the Diane P. Warren Field. I've requested to waive the reading of the article as it appears on the screen. The playing field, shown circled in yellow on this map at 438 Washington Street, is located at the Honeywell Fields along Route 16, directly to the west of the tennis courts. It's currently referred to as Honeywell 2 or the multipurpose field. This multipurpose field is undergoing renovation and is near completion by the town, thanks to this town meeting and the efforts of many, including NRC Director Brandon Schmidt, Town Engineer David Hickey, Resident and Softball Coach Jill Creevy, and her Student and Citizen-Led Field of Dreams Committee, as well as the Community Preservation Committee. The Natural Resources Commission follows the town's naming of public assets policy as found in our Law Policy and Regulations Handbook, last updated in 2017, which is posted on the town's website. Here are the major points of the naming policy so you can follow along. NRC commissioners deemed that the multipurpose field was a major physical asset of the town and therefore it was appropriate the town meeting should vote. That's why we're here tonight. NRC commissioners were in agreement the category two outstanding individuals applied in this case, that the town may acknowledge individuals who have contributed in a significant way to the public life and well-being of the town. The NRC learned of Diane Warren's role as co-founder and inaugural co-commissioner of Wellesley Girls Softball. For over 30 years, she touched the lives of thousands of young women and their families. In addition to her significant contribution to girls softball, she has a long record of volunteerism in the town and was a beloved educator at the Schofield Elementary School for 31 years. For those who are wondering, Diane Warren has no relation to Annie Warren of the Warren School and Playground, home to our Recreation and Health Commission. In March of 2019, the Plainfields Task Force, a committee comprised of representatives from the Select Board, Public Works, Recreation Commission, School Committee, and the NRC, as well as multiple sports leagues, took a unanimous vote in favor of the naming. After nearly three months of public conversation over several meetings, the NRC voted unanimously on June 20th, 2019, to name the Honeywell Field II multipurpose field as the Diane P. Warren Field pending town meeting approval. A widely distributed press release was also issued detailing our decision. And at our NRC meeting of February 27, 2020, a public hearing was held and favorable comments were received. We are now here before you asking for favorable action on Article 10. But first, I'd like to introduce this short video featuring the family and friends of Ms. Warren, which will provide us with a personal portrait of this outstanding individual. We hope you enjoy it, and after, we look forward to your favorable vote. Thank you. Diane Warren moved to Wellesley in 1974 with her husband, Skip, a modest colonial on Framar Road, where they lived for over 40 years, raising three boys and entrenching themselves in the heart of the Wellesley community. Diane worked at Schofield School for 31 years and in 1990 co-founded Wellesley Girls Softball with Jackie Eby. In 2016, Skip passed away due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. Diane, by his side every step of the way, succumbed to metastatic breast cancer less than a year later. But her legend lives on. 
I'm Jackie Eby, and Diane and I started the Wellesley Girls Softball League. We'd known each other for many years before, but decided there was a need for girls to have the opportunity to continue beyond t-ball. And um, since Diane had no daughters and my daughter wasn't interested in baseball, we thought it would be the perfect credible people to do that. I know Diane from uh, working at Schofield School. We worked together for 21 years. She was just a driving force at school. She had her hand in pretty much everything. She couldn't hold herself back. She was the glue, okay? She was the gorilla glue uh, that held, literally held everything together. I was given the unique opportunity to really get to know Diane not just as a colleague, but as a remarkable human being. And for this, I am just ever so grateful. Uh, she was a friend, a teacher. She was so much to so many people. She was so much to me. She taught me everything. And I'm uh, very, very grateful for her. My name is Sandy Joseph, and I am a longtime Wellesley resident and a town meeting member from Precinct D. Diane and I have been friends for more than 35 years. To me, Diane would be the perfect person to name the field after because if it weren't for her idea and following through on this idea, the Wellesley Girls Softball League would not have existed. We had talked about it, but it wasn't until Diane decided we needed to take action that the league actually developed. She is more deserving than anyone I know to have a field named after her. Diane gave in one of the best ways she can to the town by co-founding the girls softball. Um, you know, maybe she wasn't able to give millions of dollars, but she gave her time. She was very energizing. She was organized. It was something she believed in and to have a field named after her, I think is it's a wonderful thing. It sends a message to a town that, um, you know, you can contribute in a variety of ways. And I think it sends a great message to females, to little girls, um, about the things that you can do in life. So I think it would be a wonderful tribute to a beautiful person.